you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd like to start off, we're going to show a clip from an interview uh, that involved former Secretary uh, Chertoff, and I wanted to play that now, if we can. I'd like for you both very quickly to weigh in on what happens if the Republican-led Congress goes ahead with this vow to impeach or try to impeach the current Secretary of Homeland Security. Does that mean all the things you suggested don't happen and Congress is just tied in knots? Secretary Chertoff? Well, it would be a very sad day if in, in search of what is, again, a political stunt, you know, threatening to impeach Secretary Mayorkas, Congress didn't do the things, for example, that Secretary Johnson just suggested. Maybe adjust the standard with respect to asylum, create more resources that are available to adjudicate, and work out additional ways to fund the effort to undermine the cartels and the smugglers, which are a big part of this. So it would be basically putting form over substance to go through a big performance on impeachment that's never going anywhere, rather than actually working with the administration to solve the problem. Thank you. And then shortly after that, uh, former Secretary Johnson said, we can't have a secretary who's distracted by a stunt in Congress and an attempted at impeachment. Um, similarly, we've had other quotes, um, I think, from Congressman Ken Buck, a Republican congressman, who's raised similar concerns about, well, who stated basically there's no grounds for impeachment. Uh, and uh, also, uh, Professor Jonathan Turley, who uh, testified, and Turley's important here because he's the witness that the Republicans called to testify uh, at the oversight hearing that maybe Ms. Green, I think, was referencing with respect to President Biden. Uh, and he said that, uh, at, at, you know, at that hearing that there was no evidence to impeach President Biden. He sent us a letter to this committee saying the same thing with respect to Secretary Mayorkas. Thanks. So I, I want to sort of point out a couple of things here with respect to that. Um, to the extent we've had hearings uh, that have discussed this issue of impeachment, uh, from a legal standard, from a constitutional standpoint, the only witnesses who've actually addressed it directly are uh, Professor Bowman, who testified at the last hearing, and Professor Perlstein, who's testifying today. There's no testimony to the contrary that they provided that was given by the witnesses um, that the Republicans have called. And I, I suggest that that's in part, or maybe in whole, because they don't have experts who will come in and say, legal experts, constitutional scholars who are experienced with respect to impeachment, who will come in here and raise their right hand and swear under oath that uh, the Constitution justifies impeachment with respect to Secretary Mayorkas in this case. Uh, and the absence of the testimony, the ranking member raised due process issues at the beginning of the hearing, I would suggest that um, this goes to the heart of it. If there's no evidence that the Republicans have presented about um, actual impeachment, uh, the standard in the Constitution being violated, we should not be moving forward with impeachment under these circumstances. I also note Professor Perlstein's uh, testimony, the point about even if you, if you don't like the policies that Secretary Mayorkas is uh, implementing uh, and you impeach him and the Senate removes him, which they're not gonna, we've already heard from senators over there who've said, you're wasting the time, let's focus on actual legislation that they're trying to work out and get done. Um, but even if you re remove him, President Biden's just gonna move up the acting administrator, I suppose, uh, acting uh, secretary, who would continue to implement the same policy. So it's a waste of time, as uh, Secretary Chertoff called it. It's a political stunt. But more importantly, I mean, it is a total distraction from actually trying to get the legislation done. It's hard to ignore the fact that the Senate is having bipartisan negotiations on the behalf of the, the Democrats and the Republicans to try and pass a bill or put together a bill that would address these issues. The White House is working with them. House Democrats are working with them. Only the House Republicans are no-shows. They did the, the field trip to uh, the border and did the photo op and sent it back. 
Uh, but they haven't decided to move forward with actually fixing the issues on that front. And just the last point I'll make on that front, HR2, there's a lot of talk about that's been passed and it's sitting on uh, you know, the um, Schumer's desk, uh, but it's not on his desk, it's in the trash can. And you know what, it's in McConnell's trash can too. And they said that before it was passed through, they said, you got all these poison pill provisions in here, we're not gonna move this, send us something we can actually work with. You didn't, so now they're trying to put a bill together and everybody's on board with, with that effort except House Republicans. So if we really wanna get something done, let's all come together and work on it so we can pass legislation that addresses the problem. And with that, I yield back.